Knights, I miss you all, and this is whole game, Mrs. Albert. I'm gonna read I Survive, 1980. My do my dad was born in 1978, and then we're reading about it. So the first thing, this is the mountains in Washington D.C. More than 100 years, mountain cellars had been quiet. A beautiful mountain surrounded by the forest. Hikers climb its winding trails. Skiers race down in the snowy slopes. Children splash in its crystal clear lakes. Except this peaceful mountain was not a mountain. It was a dangerous volcano and deadly come filled. with molten rock and poison gases, and soon it will explore with the power of 10 million tons of dynamite. In the minutes before the Russian, 11 years old Jesse Marlon and her best friend Eddie and Sam were in the forest near St. Helens. The day was warm and bright, the sky brilliant blue. Still Helen rose up over them. It's the perfect triangle peak sparkling with snow. And then kaboom! Suddenly Jess was in the middle of the dead line of volcano eruption in American history. She watches in horror as the sky turned pitch black. A blizzard of ash poured down, swirling up her nose and making it almost impossible to breathe. The hard hot rocks pelting her like bullets shooting down from the sky. Then whoosh! A blast of the wind exploded out of the mountain. A white hot mix of ash and gas shards and shards of rock raced, it raced down the mountain. The jet speeds burning everything in its path. The heat hit Jess and the boys, knocking them down. Jess felt as though she would burst into flame. Every breath was like f inhaling fire. But the terror was just beginning. The eruption had shattered the mountain, and now a 15 million wide African of rock and mud and melted ice was talking aim at the valley below. It grew larger by the second and snatched up trees and bulldozer and tore away bridges and swept away horses, houses. It would destroy everything and everyone's in this path. Chapter 2 Skeleton Woman is not real. Just said. She's totally made up, Sam agreed. Can we please stop talking about the skeleton? Said Eddie Swin. Sam's twin brothers were giving me the creeps. It was Sunday morning, and Jess and the Roman twins were hiding in the black of red Ford pickup truck. Mr. Ronwin, the twins' dad, was up in front, singing loudly along to his friend the discos. They were about 20 miles from their hometown of Center. Washington rubbing along a mighty winding highway. The road was lined with trees and forever stretched in the forest and rolling hills. They were heading to the to the Rowan's fishing cabin which was on Loomis Lake up close, sir, to Mount St. Helens. It wasn't fishing season quite yet. And Mrs. Rowan wanted to get to the cabin ready. He was happy to Jess and his twins tagging along for today. Looking across at the twins, Jesse saw two matching bus cut and just a green eye with about 10,000 freckles. When they were little, just would have done anything to look more like that. She had blown up her birthday candles with his rich green eyes instead of brown. 
her pale skin, but Jessie had outgrown that. A and anyway, the twins weren't so exactly alike, and he was quiet. And then I'm done, everyone. See you next time. Thank you. And I'm done.